Hey, 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 good morning, fams. Happy Monday. It's a great day. Take your love vitamin. All right, I am available for personal readings. You can book me on the website. All readings are bookable through the website only, ael1111.com. The information will be down below in the description box. Guys, it's a great day. It's a great day. It's a dope Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we need to know. Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine. What do we need to know on this beautiful Monday? Divine Feminine. Now, I must say, I heard um, this a few times and I'm hearing it again. Um, I hear there was a spiritual attack or they may be getting ready to be a spiritual attack. Someone is trying to send an entity towards you, but you're getting ready to slay it. Someone here, you've manifested so much that your higher self shows you in advance what's coming. I feel like you're already prepared. So just be on the lookout. Be on the guard of a spiritual attack. Someone is trying to send some sort of strong entity and or demon towards you, but you're good. You're good. Don't overthink it. Don't allow this to stress you out. This is just confirming what you likely already felt in your spirit. All right, here it is. Yeah, self-esteem. Because see, see that 21, you close out of cycle, honey. Uh-uh, 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 uh That's why they're trying to attack you. You're more confident. You love yourself. You know your self-worth. And you take care of you. Point blank, period. You're more confident. Your self-esteem. But I feel like you know something is headed your way. Something or someone is headed your way trying to attack you. Your mentality, your mindset, spiritually. Here it is. Action, movement, perseverance, discipline, motivation. Be disciplined. Stay disciplined. Stay strong. Someone is trying to make you vulnerable and make you weak. Also, you may need to work on your... um. Your root chakra as well. Your root chakra as well as your solar plexus. Get those two um, chakras aligned and balanced out a little more. See your dreams. Get ready for messages, signs, symbols, guidance. This is what it's all about. Your higher self is wide awake. You're not asleep. You're not stuck. You're not confused. You're not going to be misled nor abused. Divine Feminine, This I feel like this person is sending you this attack or this entity that's after you. It's because they've sent many energies, entities, and people after you, but you straight up bossed up. <clears throat> You're making boss moves spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Your self-esteem is on the high rise. Yeah. Overall, your base chakra. Do some grounding work. Your base chakra. Continue to um keep yourself grounded and trusting in the Holy Spirit, connecting with your Holy Spirit. Get stable. Remain stable. That's why I'm telling you, be prepared because someone or something is trying to attach itself only to attack you. Yep. See, this is why. North Node. North Node alert. Study your North Node. Keep studying your North Node. You're in the North. Anything else is too short for you. You're done with the doors. Definitely, you need to be grounded. This is a spiritual attack. This is a warning. This is a warning for somebody. It's coming. If it hasn't already happened, it's coming. <clears throat> I see this, this, this attack may be a little um heavy. So be, be mindful. It may be something... Um, when spiritual attacks come, when spiritual warfare happens, it can happen in your personal life, your finances, your health, your children. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone doesn't want me to give this message because I feel that um, that clogginess in my throat. Make sure. Yeah. See, this wanted to fall out. Jupiter, you're expanding immensely. That's what it is. You're growing and you're developing, you're changing faster than what someone likely thought you would have. You've tapped into an energy of wisdom, knowledge, your higher self, higher knowledge. Get ready, film, because see, miracles are coming your way. So an attack has to happen to slow you down, to make you second guess, to try and distract you, to make you feel delayed, to make you have an illusion that you're blocked. Mm -mm. You're going to slay this, though, because see... The first thing came out 21. 21, a cycle is over. You're done with that. 
You're done with that. We're done with that, boo. Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know, Divine Feminine? See? Look at here. I love this. The gift of tongues is among you right now. Use it. Diverse tongues. Gift of tongues. If you don't know about the gift of tongues, go study it. This is a prayer language. This is a magnificent weapon this is your spiritual weapon this is what you need this is an action you need you need to take praying in the spirit something does not want me to get this out my words keep trying to fumble over themselves this is the action you need to take you start feeling confused you start feeling lost you start saying okay which way should i go use your prayer language Use your prayer language. You got it. Gift of tongues. Diverse language. That's the action you need to take. Now, here it is. Who or what is real? Your dreams. You may be receiving some information in your dreams, manifesting the reality, seeing past illusions, not allowing yourself to be um, foggy, not allowing yourself to be stuck, seeing past the illusions, knowing what's real, who is real, where you're really going overall yeah clear audience clearly hearing get ready your abilities are heightening you're going to be able to hear more sense more because you have more to do that's why this tech is trying to um come someone here may already be under attack see look at there uh 21 again you see this third eye has been activated you're being activated. You're being activated to likely activate somebody else. Expose and reveal. You see the truth of the matter. No longer are you looking through those rose tinted glasses. You see the truth and the reality of your life. Someone here could be among the ages of like 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and having their first Saturn return. And the Holy Spirit is allowing Saturn to shatter all the illusions over your life. So you might have been dealing with some Neptune energy, a little dreamy, not seeing things clearly, possibly fantasizing too much, daydreaming. Now, you know what your dreams are. You know what the reality is. Things are being exposed. Things are being revealed to you about you. Holy Spirit, what else? Oh, wow. Y'all have so many new, new amazing starts. I also feel like someone here is very emotional. You got to get your emotions together. Because, see, you got to know if you're going north, south, east, or west. You got to know where you're going. I feel like someone here, you're headed in a certain direction, but I feel like something isn't clear. This um, distraction that's going to come or has already come, it has you in your emotions, have you in your feelings. You may feel like you're sinking at the bottom of the ocean, but you see this 46 breaking down to a 10 that breaks down to a 1? It's all about a new start. You are headed in the right direction, but you got to know, is it time for me to go north? Is it time for me to stay in the south? Should I shift to the east or should I go to the west? Where's your GPS? Matter of fact, do you know what your GPS is? It's your intuition. It's the Holy Spirit that's guiding you. You don't have to be afraid. Head north. You want to stay north spiritually, the north node. It's your abundant life. Detached from the south. It's what things used to be. See, in the South, it happened to you. In the North, it's happening for you. You need to work on your gift of tongues, developing your relationship with the Holy Spirit so that the action that you take, you take it in prayer. You intercede first. You use your tongue to pray in diverse languages to receive a message from the Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. I told you. It's a powerful move. There's a powerful move happening for you in your life. But you got to discover which way you need to go. On a physical note, some of you all may get ready to move further north, further south, further east, or further west. But spiritually, we got to head to the north. See, anything else is too short for us. A powerful move is taking place in your life. A powerful move. I told you back then in the South Node, it happened to you. In the North Node, it's happening for you. You've been cracked wide open. You are popped wide open. Get ready. Holy Spirit. 
Divine Feminine. Whoa. True love. True love. It said the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Somebody is coming. You've manifested this because you've closed out many cycles. That's why this attack is coming to make you feel like you're distracted. It's coming to distract you, to try to delay you, to make you feel like you're blocked. Start delegating. You got to know which way you're going. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. You need to connect to the Holy Spirit to have insight, to have some sort of foreknowing of where you're going, which way you need to go. You need some quiet time and the inner goddess in you is coming out. It's time to awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Don't be afraid of divinity. Don't be afraid. Tap into the inner goddess. It's also time for you to know that you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Don't be afraid of who you are. You're different. You're not only different, but you're getting ready to make a difference. Holy Spirit, how you want to close this out for the films? Oh. Didn't I tell you? Some deceit. I told you spiritual attack. Be mindful. That's why your guardian angels are watching over you, protecting you. Because someone may be trying to deceive you. Could be spiritually, could be emotionally, and or physically. Leadership. That's where you're headed because you're a leader. It's time for you to lead now. That's why the Holy Spirit, you have to embody the Holy Spirit. It's within you. You got the gift of tongues. Use it. Stop second guessing. Stop saying, well, I don't understand this. It's not for your natural understanding. This is a spiritual thing. Use that tongue and keep going, girl. All right, compromise. You're a master teacher. It's time for you to teach. It's time for you to make a man with some things or some people. But it's time for you to get out here and compromise and be a master teacher. You're leading others because you used to be in a certain place. Now it's time for you to go back and bring others. It's like going back to the, it's like leaving the 99 and go get the one. There's someone you may have to go back that you need to kind of compromise. Okay, we're going to do it like this, but you coming with us. It's time for you to educate. You're a divine healer. That's who you are. So divine healers, you have to know you go under attack. That's why you have to constantly do that shadow work, working on that shadow side. I know you're tired. See, when you're called to be a divine helper, it can be exhausting. It can kind of weigh you down, but you got to keep moving. And all you're getting, get an understanding. Understand that you also need balance. Balance everything and everyone because you are divinely teaching others. That's why you're manifesting this true love because you need help. There's a helpmate coming in for you. All right, love bugs. I hope this helps. Peace and blessings. Great day. Make it a prosperous day in the Lord's divine love. Namaste.